when you look at a roof and you see things that just jump right out at you like a lifted shingle? This person wants to know if that's bad. Let's take a look. Homeowner asks, is this lifted shingle a problem? Metal flashing is underneath that lifted shingle related to the chimney beside it. Thank you. All right, so there's what we're looking at. Yeah, that's a problem. Probably not going to leak right away, but eventually what it could do is rip the shingle, tear the shingle. That's a problem. Wind can grab that pretty easily, and also you can get a lot of sediment and dust and dirt to build up in there. So yeah, you're going to want to deal with that. <clears throat> um, looks like you got a lot of frost on your roof, so your shingles are pretty cold. And so what I would really recommend doing for the meantime is um, honestly weigh it down until summer. You can gently lift it up and go to the farthest edge away from the chimney where you can put a couple nails in that metal. Um, a lot of times this happens when they don't replace the metal, the flashing around uh, skylights, chimneys, walls, etc. And when they tear them up, they just use the pitchforks and stuff and just yank them up and instead of stopping with a, a little flat bar or a um, cat's paw to actually pull the nails out gently. Uh, in the event that they're going to reuse flashing, which is, you know, you can reuse flashing depending on how bad it is. It's, it can be done. It's not a problem. But you also have something funky going on here on your Eve line. You need to check that out. Um, <clears throat> seeing that right there, it, it, it just goes over and then it smooths out over here. Once you get under the tree, kind of, um, I'm curious. I mean, that's a huge piece of flashing too. Is it possible that your house had a wood shake roof on it prior to this? And maybe a lot of times when you see the wood shakes, they have really big pieces of step flashing. Anyways, yeah, it's a problem. Probably want to get it dealt with. I'd throw a tire or something on it to just keep it flat until spring and a nice day. Unless it's leaking right now. But if not, really, you're going to do more damage trying to fold those shingles up and bend them just to be able to work on that. Happy roofing. Hope that helps.